And hello once again, this is Splattercat with episode 22 of our Let's Play of Tropico 4. We are just booming everything out right now, and we're just keeping an eye on our monetary situation. That's really, we're kind of just riding this thing out to the millennium, to be honest. We, uh, that's pretty much... We've pretty much made it, guys. This is pretty much a successful playthrough. Just to give you a heads up, what happens at year 2000? Because I'm going to stop the Let's Play there. Because this was mostly for educational purposes. I'm going to stop the Let's Play at year 2000. I'm not going to free play. I may free play it a bit and then show you what it looks like way down the line. But what happens at the year 2000 is that the game is going to be like, hey, do you want to keep playing? And you have to decide yes or no. And you can basically keep free playing for as long as you want, I think. After issuing a long speech on the improving crime safety in Tropico, which bored most of the people attending to death, our Minister of the Interior was robbed blind on the way back to his house. Okay, I'm gonna fire the Minister of Interior. How dare he get robbed. And we'll hire a new one. And this gentleman... Oh, God. Well, I guess we'll go with... These guys both have the same stats, but he looks like he's about a trillion years old, so we're gonna go with the younger guy. Maybe he'll have ambition. I don't know. I don't really, I would prefer to keep my Minister of Interior from just like outright dying as much as possible. And then we're going to go ahead and build a second hospital over here for all these people. Without, we're going to attempt to not destroy crops. There we go. And the tobacco farm is making money, which is good. That's really the one of the only places we could grow tobacco. We could grow another tobacco farm there. Presidente! The secret operation carried out by our Minister of Defense was successful. It says, after spending five days in the wilderness dressed as a tapir, our minister was able to get close enough to the rebel base camp to learn when their next big attack will take place. Unfortunately, he was wounded on the way back when local hunters mistook him for part of the island's wildlife. In return, we will not get a rebel attack, which I don't think we had an issue with anyways. I'm gonna look at my people papers real fast. We have nobody unemployed. We have all kinds of good stuff going on. Unemployment is not one of them. So we have open door immigration right now. We're stocking up on exports. We're taking a look and we're still... Our overhead's pretty expensive because we did raise wages for a lot of people without really building any industries to supplement it. Now that being said, that's a corn farm and I wish I hadn't built that. That is unfortunate. Hmm. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build another tobacco farm just to see if we can get just enough tobacco. If we can get just enough tobacco, we can build a cigar factory, which is gonna make us a lot of money too. We're not doing too bad right now. We're. I like it. It actually looks like a real city. I mean, we we didn't do too well. I'm not. I'm not, I will not lump you into this. I will say I did not do too well at actual zoning and having like you know commercial regions, residential regions. But the game doesn't really allow for that because it sorts everything by by area. So you kind of have to have everything up in one area. Let's see here. So our cathedral's built. We have another tobacco farm going up. Hopefully, we get a nice little crop of immigrants pretty soon because immigrants are what we need right now. We have lots of jobs to be done and not enough people to do them. So once our next exports go out, we're more or less, we're keeping ourselves afloat on tourism right now, just barely. We may go into the negatives again, though. We have had a lot of expenditures, basically because I'm liquidating my assets before the game ends just to get a higher score. So our Swiss bank account, we'll take a look here. President is here. It looks like we've made $101,000 off our Swiss bank account right now, so... That's that's a pretty decent score. Usually I leave the Swiss bank account to kind of the back burner and I don't think about it till later in the game. Presidente, you have ruled Tropico for quite a long time. You have five more years to remain in power. Use them wisely. Will do, Penultimo, my faithful manservant. And we're going to use this next little bumper crop. Hopefully a bunch of immigrants ride in on this bad boy. Only 15. Okay, well, we'll take it. We'll take it, but, you know, we're not going to like it. And then I'm thinking what we need to do over here is once the moment they load those goods, and there we are, he's loading goods. Hopefully he gets it all offloaded before we take off here. But 
I'm not going to babysit him for now. What we will do is we're going to go and build a... Not another room distillery. We already have one of those. We're going to build a cigar factory. Let's do that. I enjoy a cigar now and again. And if you've never tried a cigar, I'm not going to endorse smoking, but there's something... There's something nice about a glass of champagne and a cigar. I'll put it that way. It doesn't happen very often, because I'm broke as a joke, but... Every now and again. Like when I completed this semester, we had a bunch of really hard engineering classes, and we all had a bottle of champagne and a cigar, and it felt pretty luxurious, so... I have no problem with us producing some cigars. And I'm gonna put that on the high construction priority, because we need to get that going, like, now. We only have five years left, so... We need to get as much done as we possibly can in this next little bit. Now I'm thinking... A sports complex is what we need. I don't even know if we have the building space for one, to be honest, but we're gonna try. And I don't feel like these are the best locations for a sports complex. Huh. We have so much farmland. I think I'm going to move this road a little bit so that I can build it right there. Let's do that. And Kapawi. We'll rebuild this in just a moment. But for now, I really, really want a super awesome sports complex. All right. And I think that's going to be our big major spending thing for this next little bit. And this building's not producing anything, so we're going to go ahead and bulldoze it, which is going to... What about you? Are you producing anything? Not really. Kind of. Okay. So this one's fished out its water, so we're going to demolish it. We're going to give the fish population some time to survive and thrive for a little bit before we get too nasty up in here again. And the farmers are kind of living up in here, which is cool. I preferred if more people lived up in here, but, you know, what are you going to do? They probably want a garage up in here, and I'm not sure that that's a need that I can really fulfill. We'll go from lower. There we are. There, we'll get a garage going right there, so maybe it's a transportation issue. And let's see... I didn't tap into my oil reserves. That's one thing I regret, is I never got around to my oil reserves, because they were in really weird spots. They are not in optimal locations. There's an oil spot over here, but the hauling would just be ridiculous. I would probably build a dock just for the oil. It's just not in an advantageous position, and this one down here is right next to our touristy areas, which we want to avoid. It could be done, but with all the traffic along this highway, I don't think hauling would go very well. We can try, though. Actually, we don't have a lot of money. We'll wait a minute. We'll wait till our next export cycle. See how much money we get here. We have lots of events. Sir, the army is in dire need of facilities. Okay. I think that's a need we can probably fulfill, so I'll take that one as well. And we'll put some guard stations around so that we can mobilize the military if need be. We've got 23 new immigrants here. Nobody's unemployed. Fantastic. We've got plenty of housing spots, so I'm not too worried about that. And our iron deposit has finally been depleted, so I'm going to go ahead and bulldoze it. Farewell, noble iron station. And just for fun, throw down in the comments, what should we name our sports team? I have no idea what we should name our sports team. So I'm going to leave that one up to you guys. If you see the video, throw a name down there, and we'll see what we can name it. He did not take all of our goods, you rotten hauling bastard. Oh well. Let's take a look and see what's going on up here. Great calamity, Presidente. No, we're not gonna. No, no, no. We're not donating money to the Middle East. If you can't manage your funds, that's your problem. I'm not going to 
Saddle the Tropic and Taxpayers with it. Let's see what else is going on. So... We definitely want that, because that's going to lower... The climate control is going to lower how many materials we need to make cigars, which I'm feeling like we probably need. And they're living in shacks again. Let me take a look at my budget here. I'm a bit ahead, so that's fine. And... Looks like we're doing a seasonal shift again. There we are. All better. Hmm. We've got another freighter coming, so I think we'll be okay. Has our luxury liner been making money? Oh, excellent. It has. It's been making loads of money. Great. Almost everything in our tourist area has just been making a lot of money. It's basically just printing money over here. Take a look. At these charts, Presidente, the pie-shaped one is my favorite. It clearly shows that our economy has been shrinking and that the GDP has been decreasing over the last few years. Okay. So that being the case, I may rush out then an oil derrick. I don't really think we're going to have time to really be profitable with the oil derrick, but we can try. As soon as this ship comes into port and we get loaded up, since our haulers failed us last time, we would have more money right now, but... Presidente, as you know, the elections in Tropico are under close monitoring from the United Nations, which I represent. We have scheduled mandatory elections 12 months from now. Okay. We'll think of a speech. Um... It's probably job satisfaction tends to be pretty safe. Praise myself, as always. And sufficient army is probably a safe bet, too. Fellow Tropicans, I want to stress the great progress we have made. Production has increased steadily, exceeding 25% in some areas. I tell you, we will complete the five-year plan in four years. This is progress! Yes, there are problems. There will always be problems, especially in the current economic situation. The high unemployment, about which I hear so much these days, is one of them. And it will be resolved, as will all others, in time, as the global economy stabilizes. Still, as Presidente, I have worked hard day and night, done quite a job to ensure my worth for the responsibility you have bestowed on me. Gracias, amigos. I have great plans for Tropico, plans that will be felt by everyone, even the least fortunate of you. As part of my reform plan for my next mandate, I shall see to it that the size of our army is increased. Let's see if our opponents have the cojones to face our united front. Hmm, so after looking through, I thought there was a floating oil well you could make, but it's not on the building list, which is unfortunate, because I would like to... I remember it from Tropico 3. So this is a little strange. So, I don't know, maybe I'm just missing it. We have so little time left anyways that I doubt that I could get it up and running in time. So I'm just not going to concern myself. I'm going to change my prison to re-educate my prisoners. And export goat cheese. We don't have any goat farms, so I'm going to ignore that. I thought I saw shanties popping up over here. Then again, maybe they all just went to live here. So we're going to finish up with some more housing, I think. It never hurts to have housing.
And the nearest garage to this location is a ways away, so we'll build another one. Never hurts to have a garage. And there we are. So this has been episode 23 of our Let's Play. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Splattercat. If you're enjoying the videos, please do like, comment, or subscribe. Remember to comment with what you think that sports team's name should be. I don't know what we're going to name it. We'll name it something. And I will see you guys in the next episode.